What's up, water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. How we doing? It's your weekly reading. Damn. This popped out. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I'll go with it. <laughs> and the world at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I've been exp I've been f oh, damn it. I've been feeling by the way, Mercury is still very much so in retrograde. It comes out of retrograde at the time of this filming um tomorrow which is august 27th but there's always still like apparently like shadow periods but i don't know if anybody else has been feeling the uh retrograde as heavily and ridiculously as i have but um if you have i apologize your first card out is the wheel of fortune and this is a, always a good card of what goes up must come down, and what is down cannot stay down, right? So when the Wheel of Fortune is upright, it is a good omen that if you've been experiencing, even during the retrograde period, just like bouts of bullshit and uh, maybe depression and, you know, stuff you don't want to experience, um the change is the change is here or coming the only thing that the only warning i have so far for you guys is to not get caught up in delusions or um fantasies and and kind of see things how they are that's gonna be what's going to put put you guys ahead or make you guys feel like you're actually uh, experiencing progress in whatever area of life you could apply this to. I feel like this is overall, though, especially with this Wheel of Fortune and the world at the bottom of the deck. The world is all about completions. It's all about accomplishments. I don't think when it's at the when the cards are at the bottom of the deck for me, it's it's it represents what you don't see, what you what might not be right in front of your face, because the card hasn't come out. I mean, maybe throughout this reading it will, but for now, these are accomplishments you're not seeing. You're either not seeing them coming, and that would explain this Six of Wands in reverse, because you may not. Um, you may be feeling defeated or you may be coming out of this feeling defeated like you may be coming out of this energy of feeling defeated that's what i want to say three of pentacles in reverse Ace of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. A lot of you guys are waiting for your break, okay? A lot of you guys are waiting for this opportunity to come. Um, there's almost a level of patience with this Hanged Man. The Hanged Man just kind of hangs around and is suspended waiting in suspense for what's to come whatever the fate is and i mean the wheel of fortune is all about fate right but it's all about um when it's upright for me it's about these these blessings from the universe and destiny it's almost like you guys are just waiting for things to pay off for you um and i can say that things will definitely be paying off um there still might be a level of waiting that needs to go into this before you actually can see or feel the accomplishments the three of pentacles could be a warning about people you may be getting into 
projects with. Um, there could be people who aren't as team playery as they portray themselves. Um, and this could also be you as well, possibly needing to be more of a team player um, and branch out and collaborate and build a foundation. This feels career oriented. But it doesn't always have to be. In whatever area of life this is resonating, the Ace of Pentacles is always a card of nurturing the opportunity. Whether it's a love opportunity or a career opportunity or um, a friendship opportunity. Whatever opportunity you're being given, you need to take your you need to take your time with it and nurture it and water it and allow it to grow. And almost <sighs> confirmation burp. Understand that your dreams are not ridiculous. You don't want to, like, you don't want to hover between your dreams and, like, delusion. You just, you don't want to be there. But you also don't want to be too practical that you're not thinking big. And you're not, um, you're, like, settling, basically, for the first thing that comes to your, like, your brain. You want, you want to maintain, I don't know why I want to say this. You want to maintain balance and take your time. If you're, if you're finding that you're being presented with multiple opportunities at once, you want to nurture certain opportunities or nurture even the process of picking the opportunity that you actually go with. And again, this could be multiple people. This could be multiple job offers whatever it is make it make sense for you you want to there's there's a sense of with this ace of of pentacles taking your time and allowing things to kind of start to to blossom before you make any sort of decision there's also <clears throat> something that has to do with your support system your emotional support system that may be helpful at this time i'm only saying that because the three of cups came out in reverse some of you guys could be feeling just a little tiny bit exhausted um could be there like i said with this Seven of Cups, there could be a lot of, it's almost like um, opportunity exhaustion or um, decision exhaustion or something like that. Emperor in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. You want a lot of wands here. And they're all in reverse. Which again could represent like blocked inspiration. Blocked action. When the Ten of Wands comes out in reverse though, it's a good sign of either you have done this or you need to do this. You need to take all of the things that you're carrying on your shoulders and set them down and no longer carry them with you. Whether this is burdens from previous relationships, um, responsibilities that you take on from other people that you shouldn't, you know what I mean? Um, you know, this person did me dirty. Is it my fault? No, the fuck it's not. At your job, it's like things that are not in your job description, you shouldn't be doing. 
just take that as it makes sense in any area of life. Whatever is not in your job description, your description, your job description as a daughter, your job description as a mother, your job description as a friend, whatever is not within the parameters of that job description, you shouldn't be doing it. So for instance, when it comes to relationships, um, it's not your job to mother your partner. It's not. So we need to not do that. It's not your job to baby your 15 year old son or daughter, right? Like as a parent, it's your job to teach your kid how to be self-sufficient, let's say. So if you're, if you're, let's say, practically wiping your 15 year old's ass, that's what this card would like sort of represent. Just setting that responsibility down and actually allowing, taking these things that you're, whole, you're carrying that you don't need to carry and allocating to the people who can also do things right? If you are the head of your household, um, or, you know, whatever, you have a husband or a spouse, and you're the one taking on most of the responsibility, it is time to give tasks to this person and that person and that person so that you're not burning yourself out, or at the very least, weighing yourself down. Because I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are exhausted by holding on to these burdens. It's time to set them down. It, if, you know, if you're in a household of five people and you're the only one who does most of the household chores, well, that shouldn't be happening. You need to be allocating to other members of the household and that may be where this three of pentacles is coming from you may not again this could this could really be your living situation this doesn't have to be um career this could be your living situation which would tie into your romantic relationships and your relationships your interpersonal relationships with the people around you that you may live with your children your sister whatever make it make sense to you but when the three of pentacles comes out in reverse it's like you may be surrounded by a lot of people who are not team players and it almost feels like you're the only team player yeah at the bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles which represents reciprocity and what you're giving out you're getting back in return the hermit is in reverse here which is a card of you may be feeling so exhausted that you just want to isolate you want to withdraw uh, and that may be why this card is coming out let's see the magician queen of wands there's a level with these cards of assertion and action okay and i don't mean action again taking on tasks that you should not be taking on because other people aren't holding their weight in your life that's not what i mean what i mean is maybe action towards your goals right maybe this seven of cups isn't necessarily delusion or even opportunity um, exhaustion. Maybe it's distractions. All of the all of the mundane tasks that you have around you, because you're surrounded by people who aren't pulling their weight in some form or fashion, you're having to pick up that slack. And because you have to pick up that slack, you can't focus on the things that are important to you that is changing but it changes with you it's up to you yes the wheel of fortune is here which means there's a shift whether you want it to happen or not that is the way of the universe the shift is coming but there's also a level of 
action that needs to be taken toward your dreams, your goals, the things that you want. And trusting that you have what it takes to make this a reality. But I'm also getting from this Queen of Wands, I'm getting this assertion, right? Asserting yourself with confidence. But again, she's a go-getter. She takes action. She takes matters into her own hands. Some of you guys need to go on strike here so that you can take action there. And that's kind of the crux of what I'm feeling. Um, I'm going to pull some moon oracle cards because we are water signs we are ruled by the emotions and the moon rules the emotions so believe in the impossible a personal issue reaches resolution yeah you may need to have a conversation with people in your life right now about how they're not pulling their weight in some area. And uh, I feel like if you do, things will begin to shift in, in the right direction. Um, we love to fucking see that. We really do love to see that. So that's all I got for the water signs this week. Uh, I just did a wicked fucking meditation. And I'm still feeling like that's how you know it's a good meditation. I'm still feeling like almost like high from it. I feel like that's the only way I can explain it. All right. Well, I love y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.